everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Ashmita and I hope you all are doing well and yes I will be watching the interview uh, which was conducted by Sakshma Shrivastava with the K-pop band 17 yes yes so uh, it's written get to know them like never before Indian interview so I don't want to delay this any further it's like a nice 21 minute interview I'm really really excited so yes carrots let us watch this Sethi! Oh. Hi! Hi! Nice to meet you! Hi, Kasima! Nice to meet you! Who oh, is he looking like an adorable doll in between doing like this? Just doing like this. So cute! Namaste! Namaste. Oh, I love the energy! Eyes of Tiger! Tiger, how is she? Hi! Oh. I love your song, Spider! Me oh. oh. catch! No, I got the local mic. They look so happy. <laughs> Sakshma is such a great interviewer, man. She just always gives me amazing vibe. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come to Mingyu. Oh, yeah, yeah. First of all, you are so handsome. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Just that's just one minute has passed, huh, guys. Carrots. Hi. Look at that. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Okay, let's go. Hi everybody, my name is Sakshima Srivastava and I hope that all of you are doing well. My guest today, they're called K-pop stage breakers because of the I love how they have been styled firstly, the space tool. Is, is look color is absolutely phenomenal. They're amazing with music and brilliant performances. Please welcome one of the biggest K-pop groups in the world, Seventeen. Yeah. Hi. 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 Namaste. 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 So nice. Wow, you. I love the energy. Oh, this is yeah, your debut yeah. on Indian television. Please go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi guys. All all K-pop groups need to debut their Indian interviews with Sakshma only. Yes, that's it. We are Shanti! Yeah, Hi, nice so to excited. meet you. Oh, okay, yeah. Mingyu, let's go. Nice to meet you, I'm Mingyu. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, I'm DK. DK. Hi, I'm Uzi. Uzi, yeah. Uzi, Uzi. Eyes of Tiger. So <laughs> Hi, I'm Hoshi. Tiger, Hoshi. Hi. Woo. <laughs> He's so excited. Hoshi is like. Hi, I'm DH. Oh, yeah. DH. Hi, I'm Dino. No, Dino. Hi, I'm Anjun. Hi, I'm Sungwa. Nice Sungwa. to meet you. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's a rhyme. Hi, I'm 17's gentleman, Joshua. Gentleman? Oh, oh, gentle, sexy. Oh, oh, you know oh, my, oh my god. god. Oh, my god. Wow. See, Shakshma knows everything. Huh? She does her research properly. Huh? Guys. I'm a carrot. Oh, okay. I really want to go to India and I really want to love India. Hi, I'm Vernon. Nice to meet you. Namaste. Namaste. Hi, I'm Samson Lee. That's cool. Yeah. I love the way you're standing there. Welcome to Indian Television. Now we have to talk about your song, Darling. Tell us what inspired you all to release your first English language song. Well, yeah. Darling, it's, it's a sweet love song. Yeah. And hopefully, our carrots can listen to what, how we feel about them. Uh, we're always so happy that carrots all over the world listen to our songs, even if it was in, in English. But we finally have a song that's in all English, so they can actually understand purely the message behind our song, and hopefully, like, and like, really like our songs more. No, I, and I really, it's a little gift really to like, our carrots. Oh, so this, this is for the international fans, right? Right, right, right definitely. Are they going to be really happy? Perfect. Hopefully. And you're also releasing your fourth full-length album next month, right? So tell us what can we expect from that in terms of the concept and music. I mean, wow. it's not out yet, so we yeah. really can't say much. But what can you guys say? Well, a lot is contained in it. I think. And our first full-length album is so important, so I want to say a lot of hope. And on the 15th of April, the leader of the 
confident. Uh, all are full length album has been masterpieces. Yes, rightly so, so far. So I hope you really look forward to them. Everybody is looking forward. It's a very good thing, so I would like to thank you for your support. And on the 15th of the year, the hint of the Darling music video is a hint of the music video. Yeah, and I feel it's going to be like a dark concept. Because, you know, in Darling, how it starts, like I mentioned that. Because it starts like really pretty and all of that. But I said that, okay, this is something which is, yeah, they have, you, you told me that they have used the concept of the Neverland. Uh, in the uh, what it's the Peter Pan movie, so it makes sense. But then you know how it ends, where it's all apocalyptic and everything is destroyed. I feel the album is going to go through that transition with uh, all you know, uh, like it starts with like everything is like in a utopia, everything is perfect and all, and then like hell hell breaks loose. That's what I feel. I feel like it's a combi it's going to be a combination of the nice. You know what is seventeen signature like a beautiful, fun concept with a darker concept also. Like I, I feel we're gonna see a transition. That's my guess. Yes, we are looking forward to it. Of course. Now, uh, my next question is for the leader, S. Coops. Now, seventeen has a very innovative structure, right? You guys are divided into three subunits: hip hop, vocals, and performance. So, when it comes to creating music and producing music, how do these units sort of function together and coordinate? Like, what is your process to do that? 뭔가 저희 팀은 그 유닛에 국한돼서 뭔가 그 분야 각자 유닛에 어 어떤 역할이 있다기보다는 각자가 그냥 아이디어 떠오를 때마다 서로에게 아이디어를 주고 음 좋은 아이디어가 있으면 뭐 공유하면서 받아들이고 그러면서 앨범 작업을 하는 것 같아요. 그그 그 와중에 어 정말 우지가 그 중간에서 그 중심에서 정말 잘 해주기 때문에. <laughs> 앨범들이 너무나도 완성도 있고 저희 음악이 좋은 음악으로 계속 찾아뵐 수 있는 것 같습니다. Brilliant. It's great that you said you guys are not limited to your roles. Now that you mentioned Boozy, let me talk to you, Boozy. You have created almost every single song for Seventeen. I mean, you're a creator. You're a genius. That is more of you. He's like no, but that's what you guys also have told me, Carrots. Uh, I remember when I had reacted to Boozy's solo, uh, Ruby. That's when I found out. Right? That's when you actually told me like his involvement in songwriting and creating, and basically producing. Like he's he's literally what S. Coop said, like the backbone and holding everything together. So yeah, plus he's adorable. Oh, you are. Don't be modest. You are. I want to ask you that uh, since most of your songs are sort of inspired from real experiences, has that ever made you feel vulnerable? Do you feel that it can sort of expose a little bit too much about you to the world sometimes? Mm, uh, yes, she asks the basic question. I'm sorry, carrots. I'm pausing, but I just you know, Sakshma's interviews are always just so cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, 그냥 uh, uh, 뭐랄까요? So 그 이렇게 Seventeen으로 있을 때 우리가 가, 같이 느끼는 모든 이 순간과 뭔가 시간들이 캐럿들과 함께 간다고 생각을 해요. 그래서 그냥 뭔가 오히려 좀 right. 음악 속에서 꾸며지기보다 진짜 진짜 우리가 하는 이야기, 우리가 가지고 있는 목소리들을 nice. 캐럿분들이랑 같이 공유해 나가는 게 지금은 시간이 지날수록 저희들에게 너무 이게 점점 소중해지고 있는 것 같고 이렇게 어 사실 너무 오랜 시간 이렇게 스스로 음악을 하고 앨범을 만드는 시간들이 길어지다 보니까 이제는 보답을 계속 하기 위해서 그래서 이렇게 so 하고 있는 것 같아요. 캐럿 분들이 좋아해 주시는 그냥 그것뿐입니다, 사실. 네. That's beautiful. I expected a brilliant answer from you. You did not disappoint to me, really. <웃음> Genius, genius. Genius, genius, right? Hoshi. I'm going to come to you, Hoshi. You're the leader of the performance unit. And first of all, I love your song, Spider. Ah. It is an amazing song. And listen to it every day. Me, catch you. No, I got the local mic. Yeah. Hoshi is the most excited in this lot. He is the most excited to be here, huh? Getting interviewed by Sakshma. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> The eight facing secondhand embarrassment, ah, uh, sitting beside him. He's like, I don't know this person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> spider! Oh, right. no, no, like, the eight is like, literally, don't embarrass us. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 
नाचे मोटागे इसने तो अपना सारी नीचे कर लिया एम्बेरसमेंट में Amazing! Everybody streams Spider. It's a kick-ass song. Okay, yeah, I want to ask you that. Of course, you're an you're an amazing dancer, and dance is a way of relieving stress. So, on days when you're feeling down mentally, do you use dance as therapy to sort of lift your spirits and feel happy? Oh, 저 같은 경우는 어 춤을 너무 좋아하는 취미로도 생각하고 일로도 생각해서 어 가끔 이렇게 너무 춤추고 싶은 날은 이렇게 안무가 형 연습실 okay. 가서 댄서분들이랑 같이 춤추고 뭐 멤버들이랑도 춤추고 네, 그러고 오곤 합니다. Oh, that's nice that you can do something that you love as your passion and your job both. Yes. Now coming to the performance unit as a whole, Dino, June and the 8th, I want to ask you that when you all choreograph oh, the performance songs, unit. do you also... Wait, are they sitting in terms of the units? Is that how the seating is arranged? Work on the storytelling aspect. Please let me know. Like, do you through your steps? Do you try to give your fans some things which alone cannot be expressed through the lyrics and words of the song? 근데 우선 뭐 저희가 말로 너무 좋은 말들도 많고 다양한 표현들이 있지만 그것보다 더한 감정을 표현할 수 있는 게또 하나의 춤인 것 같아요. 그래서 저희가 하고 싶은 메시지를 어쩌면은 몸짓으로 표현해 드리는 게더 와닿을 경우가 많다고 생각을 하기 때문에 어 그런 부분에서 좀 많이 중점을 두고. 네, 많이 작업도 하고 연구를 하는 것 같아요. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. You guys are such great performance. I love your performance on the song. Shh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna come to Warner. I want to ask you that uh, you all put in so much effort you know, into every single song, but not all of the songs go on to become massive hits. Tell me a song of yours which did not receive as much hype, but is very close to your heart and you feel it's a hidden wow, gem really and like it's very question. difficult to work on. Yeah, um, too many swan. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not the most well-known song, but um, it's an English song, and it's a song sung by me and Joshua, and that's yeah. So he and Joshua are the English speakers because I know Warren is from the states. I don't know from where Joshua is. So yeah, like style-wise, that's my favorite song out of 17 songs. And which, song, which song but, did he mention? Um, it's an English song, and it's a nice one. Oh, yeah, it's not the most well-known song. Yeah, um, What's too many swans. What's the song he said? Oh. Yeah, it's too many, not... Which, I, okay, I actually did not catch the song. Write down which is that song. I very difficult to, to work on. Yeah, um, too many swans. Oh. Yeah, two it's not the one. most well-known song, but um, okay. it's an English one. song, and it's a song sung by me and Joshua. And that's, yeah, like, style-wise, that's my favorite song out of 17 songs, yeah. Carrots need to hype that song. You heard Vernon, right? Let's make it reach the carrots Ooh. who haven't heard it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come to Mingyu. <laughs> First of all, you are so handsome. Wow, <laughs> thank you. Wow. Your visuals are unbelievable. Wow. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, I wanna ask you that um, there are so many K pop groups in the world, but your group 17 was able to sort of rise head and shoulders above every single group and sort of emerges one of the biggest groups in the world. What do you think took you so far? What do you think worked for Seventeen as its USP, resulting in its massive success globally? Oh, 사실 첫 번째 비결은 비결이라고 하면 꾸준함인 것 같아요. 그냥 어떤 포기나 좌절하지 않고 주어진 것들을 꾸준히 해나갈 수 있다는 거에 굉장히 큰 영향을 받은 것 같고 그리고 사실 분명히 운도 굉장히 좋았다고 생각해서. 뭔가 그렇다 할 비결은 없는 것 같아요. And if I may add, carrots. They're yeah, they're our number one. Oh, reason. the fans. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna come to the very charming Joshua. I want to ask you that your group, <laughs> your group has achieved so much. I mean, your albums have sold like millions, tens of millions of copies. You have a very huge fan base worldwide that is dedicated to supporting you. When you look back at this incredible journey of yours, what is the one moment or an incident of yours when you personally felt extremely proud to be a part of Seventeen? I mean, there are actually too many instances where I felt like very proud of our team, like being Seventeen, but I think when we went on world tour and just like performing with my members like all over the world, it just mm. felt like a dream come true. and. Just like being with my members and how we're very close, and we, how how seeing how much that we respect each other, I just felt really really proud of our relationship together and our relationship with our fans. So, wow. 
I think that was the instance. It's sacred, right? The relationship that you have. With I love her questions, man. I just love the questions that she asks. It's, and you know, this is her, with her interviews, now, I've always seen the, the idols, the artists, they're so comfortable. They are the, the smile and the laughter is so genuine. It's just, there's no fakeness. I just, I just feel very happy. Like, you know, I feel so proud that, you know, she's an interviewer from our country and she's doing so well, like representing at least because, you know, she's representing uh, our entertainment industry media, like our entertainment media to the world in a way. So I feel very happy. So Sakshma, more power to you. Good going. I hope, I am the hoping, you know what my wish is, like, because uh, second part of the year, Blackpink is going to have a comeback. Like, boy, she needs to interview the girls, man. I, I really, I want that. I want that. Yes. The fans, is it something sacred? Definitely. Okay, I'm going to come to Sung Kwan and DK. First of all, both of you has amazing vocals. It's such a pleasure to listen to you both sing. Ah. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I want to ask you both that uh, you both really seem to love what you do, you know, singing. How long do you both want to do this? Do you have a timeline that I want to sing till this, pursue music and then I want to do something else? Or is this something that you want to do forever? Oh, 일단 언제까지라는 그 기한을 생각해 본 적도 없고 음. 그냥 가수가 아닌 나를 어, 상상을 해봤을 때 전혀 상상이 안갈 정도로 그냥 어 그냥 제 인생의 전부인 것 같아요. 그래서 음. 어 그만큼 저희 팀 그리고 이 가수란 직업에 너무 진심이라는 걸꼭 말씀드리고 싶습니다. 어 저는. 정말 할수 있을 때까지 네, 끝까지 열심히 하고 싶은데 우리 멤버들이랑 정말 목소리가 다 다를 때까지 정말 어, 오래오래 함께 이렇게 노래하고 음악하면서 많은 분들께 좋은 그런 에너지를 나눠 드리고 싶은 마음 큽니다. Yes, credits credits is it true? Is it true? That's what I've heard. Uh, like Pledis as a company, Pledis as a company, like now it's part of Hybe, but they, they, Pledis still operates as independently, like a company, even if it's part of Hybe labels. But even if it was like before that also, as a company, Pledis doesn't have a really good reputation. Let me know, Karas, because you can only give me good con proper context, actual information, because I am not a carrot. So I don't, I don't have that much in-depth research on 17. But what I have heard from the internet, is that Pledis has not really given them, like 17 could have been even bigger uh, as a group globally if Pledis took care of them properly, if Pledis promoted them properly in the initial stages. Now Pledis is doing it because they have already, like because they're famous. Now Pledis is taking good care of them because they have achieved so much. They have the fame and all of that. So of course, I mean, carrots will come for Pledis if, if they don't take care of the members. But the point is that that's what I've heard that initially they have not done as much as they should have in terms of promoting this group. It is actually the fandom which has done it. Or, and they themselves, they themselves putting in their own money and stuff like that. Please let me know if any of that is true or not. Keep doing it. Please, please keep spreading happiness for as long as you can. I want to come to the eight. I want to ask you that you all have lived together, worked together, traveled together as a group for more than seven years. Your group is bound to have some minor disagreements and fights. How do you all as a group resolve all of this and make sure that a very healthy and friendly environment is maintained at all time? members <laughs> 근데 그거는 이제 시간을 지나면서 서로 대화를 통해서 네, 많이 푸는 편인 것 같아요 우리는. Communication is key. Very well spoken, actually. I'm gonna come to Jun. I want to ask you that, of course, you are an idol, but you're also, uh, you know, an individual with your own hobbies and interests. So outside of carrots and seventeen, what brings you the most happiness? What makes you very happy? 아 이거 사실 어. 저한테 아 저한테는 음 제일 어려웠지만 좀 제일 간단한 것 같아. 그냥 어 이렇게 바쁘게 지나가다가 
어, 친한 사람끼리, 친한 멤버끼리 간단하게 맛있는 밥 먹고 이제 편안한 대화하고 뭐 어제 조시 형랑 명호랑 같이 밥 먹었는데 약간 이렇게 이렇게 약간 이런 거는 제일 행복한 거 맞아. 약간 소소하지만 But they are not small. They are actually like these small things matter. What brings you actual like, true happiness? These these small things really matter. 굉장히 행복한 거 같습니다. 네. You're very witty. Really. The way you answer is very impressive. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come back to Woozy. I want to ask you that you know you always talk about how you create music for fans and it connects so well with your fans. I was very curious to ask you that when you have opportunities to talk to carrots uh, through fan meets or any other medium, through talking to them, does it help you understand their lives better and can that sometimes turn into inspirations for songs and lyrics because that's how you connect with them later? Oh, uh, but 뚜렷하게 어떤 막 정확한 뭔가 그 상, 상황이나 사건을 뭐 얘기하기는 좀 애매하지만 그냥 단순히 그냥 예를 들어서 공연장에서 멤버들과 캐럿들이 함께 있었던 모스트를 봤을 때도 정말 좋은 뭔가 가사나 음악들이 머릿속에 생겨나듯이 어 반대로 우리가 좀 많이 못 만난 기간이 길었잖아요. 그 길었기 때문에 또 나오는 어떠한 좋은 메시지. I like 메시지. how the camera focused on Mingyu and you know just kept it, it just it just kept it over there. Just that his beautiful smile, huh? 이들 이렇게 보지 못하는 상황에서 어 해주고 싶은 말들이 또 생겨나기도 했고 그리고 최근에 또 다시 또 대면 이제. Mm. 스케줄들이 많이 생겨나면서 또 조금씩 만나고 있는데 그러므로 또 생겨나는 새로운 좋은 이제 생각들 좋은 어떠한 기운들 그런 것들이 yeah, 다 있어서 Yeah, it's actually for for producer or for a composer or a lyricist, it's it's really difficult to pinpoint what really inspires you. Literally anything can inspire you to write a song or to get a beat in the in your brain. Like literally any event can trigger that. I feel. 정의보다 그냥 이런 우리가 지금 살아가고 있는 같이 이렇게 캐럿들이랑 세븐틴이 같이 이렇게 좋게 살아가고 있는 상황 속에서 계속 좋은 게 떠오르는 것 같아요. 그만큼 좋은 관계라는 뜻이기도 하고. Oh, brilliant. Very well said. Very well said. Uh, <웃음> now I want to ask you all that Seventeen in general comes out as a very chaotic and energetic group when we see you all. But I want to ask you all that anybody can have a bad day, you know, when you're feeling down or low. So when one of you are feeling down on an important day like a shoot or a performance, how do you all lift their spirits? How do you like pump that person up? I mean, like we've been together for such a long time, so. Just by the look of a member's eye or like how they're sitting, we can tell if they're like not having a great day. Okay. So we always try to like go next to them and like ask them what they ate today. Are you feeling tired? Mm. Are you feeling okay? Like we always try to do that, yeah. cheer each other up. So yeah, you're really good at that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I mean like all our members try to do that. So I think we feel a lot of strength like through those things that we do. Yeah, and we just. Generally, we just play around a lot. Right. <laughs> we just talk about this and that, just make fun of each other. So you do talk about things, that's nice. Like, that, like the aide said, communication is key, right? Right, exactly. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, now, very important, I have to ask you this. Please share a message for your Indian carrots and please let us know if we can expect you to come to India for a concert anytime soon. I'm the waiting for a K-pop concert in India. Like I will literally fly out anywhere, anywhere to watch a concert. I will have a gala time. 이렇게 세븐틴 응원해주고 사랑해주고 옆에 있어주는 것만으로도 너무 감사하다는 말씀 드리고 싶고 캐럿 분들이 계시기 때문에 저희도 잘 버텨온 것 같아요. 그래서 정말 상황이 빨리 좋아져서 어 기회가 생긴다면 저희가 바로 달려가서 여러분들에게. 좋은 음악과 좋은 무대 그리고 좋은 에너지를 드리도록 하겠습니다. 아, 오늘 회사 가서 바로 얘기하죠. 가자고. Yes, definitely. We are really looking for. 가겠습니다. 아, 오늘 회사 가서 바로 얘기. Let's talk to our agents. I love this. 얘기하죠. 가자고. Yes, definitely. We are really looking forward to you all coming. Okay, you have to come. Okay. Every single day, your fans spam me on Instagram, on Twitter, everywhere to get 17 on the show and to request you to come to India, so you have to come.
Man, okay. the first chance yes. you get, we'll be there. Yeah. Oh, and oh, I also wanted to thank you the... so much for all the great questions and giving us this opportunity sure, to, sure. you know, introduce ourselves to our Indian carrots. So thank you so much for your interview. And He's yeah, so hopefully sweet. when we get to India, you can come. He's so sweet. He's adorable. I am so happy. I love the synergy. Now, this is what a great interviewer can bring out from the interviewee where they themselves say that thank you so much for these amazing questions because yeah these are amazing questions like i feel so proud of sakshma and sakshma deserves the spotlight she absolutely has earned it she has all my respect ma'am you can come to our concert also we can meet in person yeah oh my god joshua i have to tell you something i'm a huge fan i was just Thanks. saying this to the staff earlier i watched every single episode of going 17 2019 oh, 20, wow. 20, 22 wow. I know every single member, I follow your music from scratch and for me it's an opportunity to get a talk to you. So trust me, it's my pleasure. Wow, thank you really. so much. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. She's so good. Now, uh, we cannot wrap up without one thing. We have a very famous tradition on the show. Every single time we have a foreign artist, we request them to give a message to their Indian fans in one of our many languages, which is Hindi. So is it okay if I quickly help you to say something in Hindi for them? Of uh -huh. course, of course. Okay, super. I'm going to tell you the meaning first so you know what, it, what you're talking about. I'm going to make you say Indian carrots, you have taken our heart away. Uh, oh. yes. yes, yes, yes. Okay, so boys, because it's a lovely message with love, make it like a little romantic drama. Okay, got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have high expectations from you all, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Say Indian carrots. Indian carrots. Indian carrots. Aap hamara. Aap hamara. Dil. Dil. Le gai. Le gai. Yes. <laughs> now let me say it in one go. Indian carrots. Indian carrots. Aap hamara dil le gai. Aap hamara dil le gai. Indian carrots. Aap halama dil le gai. Hamara. Hamara. Dil le gai. Dil le gai. Dil le gai. Yes, well done. You're right. Dil le gai. To her house. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, go. Indian carrots, I'm not a deal breaker. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
and i think god seven is having a comeback like they they good i think so i think so bam bam gave some spoiler he they're going to they're going to be they're going to be having a comeback they're, they're working on a, on the music together as a group so yeah so yeah she better get god seven she better get god seven uh, yeah oh my god i was so you know because uh, jackson's uh, this thing the latest song and all of that this doing so well i was really expecting that maybe she'll get jackson uh, for an interview but that did not happen it's okay no problem no problem this was amazing she is literally the best interviewer i have seen the questions the research that goes into it and she's like a really, I mean, it's perfect because she really knows k-pop she loves k-pop so you can just see that synergy coming through in the interview i loved every bit of it i enjoyed every freaking bit of this it was so much fun and uh, you know made me even more like i already feel like 17 is a group which always gives me the positive vibes and now today after watching this like that positivity dose has increased multifold multifold like i might become a carrot very soon just letting you know just letting you know so yes that was the reaction guys share in your favorite moment uh there my favorite moment was when she said and i love your song spider and hoshi just started singing he looked he was to the hype man he was the hyped one most hyped one in this interview i loved it they answered also very well and also that's one my one of my favorite moments second favorite moment is when joshua himself said that thank you so much for asking such wonderful questions and introducing us to the indian carrots properly like this so that was i loved that i loved the, that he did did that for sakshma so made me personally very very happy So yeah that was the reaction guys uh to the interview of 17 by Sakshma Shrivastava she has done a fabulous job and i hope to see many more many 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 more interviews uh for from different different uh, k-pop groups and finally they're seeing india as a market i'm very happy very very happy so yeah i'm to hoping bts is come back she does one more interview i hope oh my god I really hope I'm. I'm so praying. I'm so praying because then if they come for the second time, they know each other now. In the, at the second interview is going to be. I expect more chaoticness and more freeness in the second interview. So yeah, and more flirty moments between. <laughs> See from that interview, the Seon has to become even a bigger flirt now. So I am expecting more flirty moments between her. Those days are biased. So. Yeah, those are the things I'm manifesting, man. Really. So yeah, that was it, guys. I had such a, I had the, I have the biggest smile on my face. I'm gonna rewatch this again because this is a good interview for me to actually now know all the members because I only know like forty percent of the members in the group by name and face. By name, I sort of know, but by face. So I'll rewatch it again and again. So yes that was the reaction guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'll sign off now i'll see you soon on my next video bye you are the cause of my